In today's video, I'm sharing my vintage 1960s nightgown collection and the history behind these beautiful and elegant nightgowns. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosenda and I'm so excited you're back. So I want to welcome you if you're new to my channel. A lot of you have come over from Jennifer the Daily Connoisseur's channel and I'm so excited to have you. I thank you for being here and I'm honored to be able to have you be a part of our beautiful little community we have here. If you're new to my channel, I love to share videos about vintage homemaking, feminine tin item wardrobe, elegant style and tips, and also romantic home. And if that sounds good to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can look forward to all videos that are coming every week. Today I have an exciting video. I actually did talk about this on my Instagram a few months back and I wanted to make a YouTube video on this. I wanted to add some more things that um, had to do with the history of the vintage baby doll and nightgown and some more history on my nightgown collection so this is different than the video that you saw on instagram that was put together really quickly and if you go visit my instagram you will see that video in my feed i did write a blog post about this and i put more details so if you want to go visit that blog post i will link that down below so i wanted to talk a little bit about the history of the baby doll and the history of the nightgown so i looked up on wikipedia.org just to briefly look at uh, the history and I found a really interesting article that talks about it. The creation of the super short nightgown is attributed to the American lingerie designer, Sylvia Pedlar, who produced them in 1942 in response to fabric shortages during the World War II. Although her designs became known as baby dolls, Pedlar disliked the name and did not use it. The name was popularized by the 1956 movie, Baby Doll, starring Carol Baker. Hmm. I think I might have seen that with my husband years ago. This marked the beginning of the enduring popularity of the style for adults. Baby doll pajamas in the 1950s through the 1960s consisted of a top and a loose fitting short bloomer bottom with elasticized waist and legs. This is very interesting because I know that the, the fashion of the baby doll or that style actually came back in the 90s in, in dress form. I remember wearing the 90s like baby doll dresses and leggings under them or short capri leggings, almost like a, a vintage retro comeback in the 90s. Since I was a teenager in the early 90s, I remember wearing those actually. So the first nightgown that I wanted to show you is this pretty chiffon baby doll and it is embellished with these beautiful light baby blue uh, ribbons. It has beautiful roses that are little flowers. I love the sleeves also because they're so flouncy and there's um, trim on the sleeves also. So it's just very elegant. And here's the nightgown that goes underneath. It has a pretty little embellishment here, the bow, and it matches the robe. One thing about vintage nightgowns is that they're so elegant, they're so glamorous, and that's one thing I love about that time period of the 50s and the 60s and the 40s. So this is actually considered a baby doll. This type of nightgown, it's short, and it's this actually isn't too short. This is to the knee, so it's a little bit more modest. Later in the 60s, the baby doll was a little bit more uh, mini and a little showy. So this was actually a little bit more, uh, I would say more uh, modest and more glamorous. Okay, and next I have a day coat. In the 1950s, 1960s, I think even 1940s um, and 70s, the modern mid-century women wore day coats and these were sort of like robes this particular day coat actually ties at the top of the neck um, in a bow and so it's not like a robe where robes have the belt in the middle this was meant to be a swing like kind of like a swing coat and these were are so glamorous they have the embellishment of the lace on the sleeves for me i love to look at vintage nightgowns and vintage anything really and see how a bygone era that was really a beautiful time can be captured in a piece of clothing or fashion and how we actually can still do that today even in our modern time that we live in in this time period we can take bits and pieces of those days 
um, and be able to incorporate them and not just the fashion style but actually the meaning behind the fashion too the modesty the the elegance <laughs> The way that these nightgowns came into my possession is such a true blessing. So a year ago, my mom called me and asked me if I wanted to see an old box that had just been found in my grandma's shed. My grandma, if you're not familiar with my channel, is one reason why I created my blog, The Little Pink Casa. And my grandma's house was pink. It had pink siding. It was built in the 1940s. So I built my whole blog and my YouTube channel around that because my grandma was a big influence for me. So my cousins decided to go down there and look through some of the things because some of the stuff belonged to their mother, which is my aunt, Marianne. And my aunt Marianne had passed away about 20 something years before that of cancer. She was my favorite aunt, she was my godmother. They ended up going through this stuff, they found a box. Well, they ended up looking at this stuff like, what do we do with this? So they thought, oh, maybe my um, their aunt would like this, which is my mom. So my mom called me and told me, Resenda, I have this wonderful box of things that belong to your Aunt Marianne, your godmother. I don't have any use for them, so maybe you would like to um, go through them and see if there's anything you like. When I went to my mom's and I saw the box, it was really musty and old. I looked inside this box and the wonderful thing is that these nightgowns look preserved and these nightgowns were in a shed for almost 20 something years um, in extreme Arizona heat. They were outside. It's very unbelievable to think that these actually lasted. The story behind these nightgowns is even better because these nightgowns are actually part of my Aunt Marianne's wedding trousseau. They were the exact nightgowns that she took on her honeymoon and that she wore on her wedding night and um, I think that's so special. This first nightgown is actually the one she wore, probably on her wedding night, I'm thinking, because it has the blue. Brides in the 1960s and 1950s actually um, really took hold of that English folklore that says brides should wear uh, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. The appreciation for elegant nightwear has really been lost through these years, I feel. I would definitely love to see the art of elegant nightwear come back. What do you think, ladies? Let me know in the comments what you think of my vintage nightgowns, or if this video has inspired you even to uh, help you want to wear a little bit more elegant things when you go to bed, even if it's just for you. I always say whether it's just for you, it's something that's worthwhile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just enjoy talking about the history, whether it's the mid-century period or the Victorian era or any of the 1800s, any of those, I really love just seeing and learning and finding out more about that, especially the 1950s and 60s because that's the era of my parents. My parents were born in the 40s and they grew up in the 50s and the 60s and it's just very special to me. And it makes me think like how we can carry that legacy on. Um, through history and through stories that belong, you know, things that belong to our family can actually be passed down from us to our kids. And one last thing before I go, I have some very exciting news. My blog anniversary, Little Pink Casa, is coming up this Monday. To celebrate, I will be hosting a special giveaway coming up in next week's video. So in order to catch all the details, be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Little Pink Casa and I will be posting some posts and stories to catch you up on that and that let you know when that video will be posting next week. Next week's video will be very special. We will be celebrating my blog anniversary and having you, I'm officially inviting you to it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can join me for my video next week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a like and comment below what you thought and I will see you again in my next video.